Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training here with .NET New Corporation. In this brief video, I'm going to show you how you can use the installer within .NET New to upload a module package. So uploading a module or uploading a skin is actually the same, follows the same process. We're going to need to be logged in as a host or a super user account. We're going to do that and then navigate to the host extensions page. Now from the extensions page, we're going to use the actions menu and go to the install extension wizard. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that within .NETUKE 5.6 Professional Edition. So here we have a clean install of .NETUKE 5.6 Professional Edition. It does have a sample page that's been created in a previous video. I'm going to navigate to the host extensions page. Now also in a previous video, we talked about how you can install existing extensions, extensions that come with .NETUKE but are not installed by default. We did that by going to the Actions menu and choosing the Install Available Extensions option. Well, in our case today, we're going to install a newly created extension, or an extension that we either packaged and created ourselves, or purchased, or had another developer create, and uh, we've downloaded that extension. Now, extensions typically come in a zip file, a package that we're going to upload. So I'm going to choose the Install Extension Wizard from here. And this is going to give me an interface that will allow me to browse for my extension to upload. Now, typically what you would do is you would download your extension to the local computer that you're working on. And then on that computer, you would browse to your .NET website, log in as host, and navigate to that host extensions page. So when I click on the browse option here, it's going to take me to a file browser to browse locally on my local computer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the downloaded module package. Well, I previously downloaded a module called the DNN Simple Article. It's a free module that you can download from CodePlex at dnnsimplearticle.codeplex.com. It's used as a sample for module development. There's packages there, and this is the version 003 install package. So I'm going to take that zip file, click Open, which will then load the information here into the file browser window. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. That actually uploads the zip file to .NET Nuke. .NET Nuke opens that zip file and looks for what's known as a manifest file. Within that manifest file, it finds some basic information about the module and then displays that information to us here. So we're going to be stepping through the installation wizard. We can go ahead and click on Next. And on the next screen, we're going to get a, a screen that lists off any release notes that are included within that package. Well, this particular example module doesn't have any release notes other than add your release notes here. So that's what displays here on the release notes page. Now, the next screen is going to be for the license for that particular module. Now, this particular module comes under the same license that .NET Nuke itself comes under, a very, uh, an open source license called the MIT license. So that license gets displayed here. You can see there's a couple of formatting issues here. But that was really up to the developer of the module, not to .NET Nuke. So .NET Nuke displays the license information, and in order to install an extension, you must accept the license. Now, even if that extension doesn't include a license, you would get a message here that says there was no license provided. You still must check the Accept License option. I'm going to go ahead and click on Next, and that will accept the license and then move on through the extension installation process. Now, when you upload an extension, as we've done here, the installation process goes through, looks at that file, the zip package, extracts all the contents, and then it starts working with the files within that package. This particular module has two SQL scripts that need to be executed when the module installs. There's a version 001 and a version 003 SQL script. .NET Nuke senses which version we're installing, and it runs those SQL scripts in order. So we see that version 1 is run, and then we see that version 3 has run, and it goes through and it also then copies all of the necessary files for the module into their appropriate locations within .NET Nuke. Now typically modules are going to have their, their files installed into a folder inside of the root of our .NET Nuke website called desktop modules. And then each individual module will have its own folder underneath of desktop modules. Now the important thing to look for on this screen is the message at the bottom. We should see a message at the bottom that says installation successful. In our case, we do see that, so we can go ahead and click on return. That means our module is now success successfully installed. And if we return, it'll take us back to the host extensions page. 
And on the host extensions page, we should then be able to find our module in the list of available modules or installed modules. Now, when you install a module, when you install a skin or when you install any other types of providers or extensions within .NET Nuke, the .NET Nuke website will need to restart after the installation occurs. So that was that little delay there from when we clicked on return to the time that the extensions page loaded up here. If we go ahead and scroll down into our list of modules, we can see we now have a module listed here called DNN Simple Article. We can see which version we have installed. Now, if there was a new release of that module, perhaps version 004, we can upgrade to that next release by following the same process we just followed. We would download the install package for that 004 version, and then we would upload it through the install extension wizard. Now that this module is available, we could go to a page on our site, and through the control panel, we could choose that module from the list of available modules here, and we could place the module on a page. So as you can see, installing a module into .NET Nuke that you either had commissioned and created or created yourself is fairly easy and straightforward when it's been packaged up properly. In future videos, we'll go into more details on creating and, and packaging your modules. We'll also go through and install some skins and containers that we're going to be able to use within our .NET Nuke website. For more information about our .NET Nuke training, please feel free to check out our training page located under the resources tab on .NET Nuke.com or by visiting the shortcut URL listed here on the screen. Just remember that that shortcut URL is case sensitive. On our training page, we offer a variety of free videos as well as a schedule of our upcoming instructor-led training webinars and information on our custom on-site and online training webinars. Again, this was Chris Hammond with .NET New Corporation. Thanks for taking, taking the time to watch the video.